Hi, welcome at Electroi. My name is Wisse Hettinga and I thought it might be a nice idea to take you through our new issue of Electroi, the March edition 2012. Let's start with uh, here in the upper left corner. We have a very nice uh, review of the Easy Pick 7 of Micro Electronica. We uh, did a review on that and uh, we must say we were pretty impressed by the product. It's an excellent board, it's really well built, there's a good support of software tools and in our opinion it really is a must have. And here is an interesting article, you know we're doing Retronics, one of our editors Jan Buiting always takes us back in the past and picks old equipment and see if it's still working and ticking. And in this article we're going back to a simple function generator from 1978. I have it here, I have it here. This is what it looks like. Um, it's been a big success. We, I think we sold thousands of it. And because it was such a big success, other companies copied the idea and made their own function generator out of this. So you see, illegal copying is not just of what's happening now, but it's been from all times. And of course we have the Design Spark Chip Kit Challenge, which is currently running. We're doing with Design Spark, uh, which is a website from Eris Components, we're doing a big challenge. And a lot of people are entering this competition and challenge. And end of March we hope to see all the results coming in from this uh, competition. So that's part of that. We have, we have, we have... Here you find an article which might be interesting for people working with Android and uh, electronics. We've got a lot of entries coming in from people with examples on how to use a smartphone or a tablet with the Android platform on how to work with electronics. And this is a nice example on how you can switch things on and off with your smartphone. This is also a nice one. One of the lab technicians started a small series on components, which is really nice because it just explains what the component is, how it works, where you can use it for, and some tips and tricks on to make the best out of it. Um, this, this is also a very nice one because this is the long wave goodbye. You, you know there's still long wave radio and from France we have a very nice article with only one, two, three transistors um, for a long wave receiver. So it's not the long wave goodbye yet, but it's a very nice project. And you can do it yourself, easy. Then, very interesting is this article. It says SDR meet AVR from Germany. But basically it is software defined radio based on AVR technology. And uh, what we're doing, we explain software defined radio, we explain how it all works, but we also make a lot of examples on what to do with it. It is a radio, but you can also use it as a signal generator. It's a complete package and I thought it would be a nice idea to take you to the lab and have a look at this project. So you follow me. And finally, we are in the lab. And here we find the software defined radio with AVR. And I have 
Jens, Jens Nikol here from the German editorial team. And uh, this article is actually from German, Germany. And uh, we have the product here. Jens, ca can you tell me a bit why is SDR, Software Defined Radio, so interesting? Because everything is done in a digital way, uh, so we um, make a sample of all the analog uh, signal which is coming through the air and um, process everything digitally, so you have, are very flexible in that way. Uh, why is AVR interesting for me? Because AVR controllers are a very popular controller family. Uh, you have a free tool chain. You can program everything in C or even BASCOM basic. And the AVR controllers uh, are very cheap, uh, but they are uh, only 8-bit controllers. Okay. And 8-bit doesn't sound very impressive, but 8-bit is powerful enough to actually to be the heart and the core of software-defined radio. Yes, that's okay, true. So, excellent. and we demonstrated that it's working. Okay. So here, here on the table, we have basically the whole software-defined radio project. It will run over a series of articles, I think. Yes. Up to now, we plan six articles. Okay. And in these six articles, what is going to happen? You take us through the hardware step by step, I think. Yes, we have. Three PCBs. Uh, the first PCB is the signal generator board. So the first part uh, coming in the March issue will tell us everything about generating signals with RVR controllers. And this is this RVR SDR signal generator board with an AT Tiny controller on it. Okay. And uh, the further steps are uh, to receive uh, signals over the air and. Yeah. And um, because what, that is what we're actually seeing here. This is the signal generator. This is what we are describing in the uh, March edition of Elector. And uh, here on the oscilloscope, we'll see the actual signal. It's typically a signal. If you look at it, uh, it is. Um, it has the step uh, of a uh, uh, digital analog converter uh, clearly visible in it. Well, thanks, uh, Jens, for this uh, short introduction on software-defined radio. Very interesting. And I suggest we go back to the board. Follow me. Which I almost forgot. This article on uh, Andropod, which is a very nice uh, interface where you can use your uh, smartphone in uh, just steering a lot of electronics. Nice and interesting article. And then, where to get Elector? Well, first, how to recognize Elector from a distance. From a distance, it looks like this. So when you're in the shop, it looks, go for the E. And if you look closer, you'll recognize the AVR, software-defined radio, and we hope you like this issue. Thanks very much.